What is up guys, this is Andrew at night and I've got an app review for you guys. Haven't reviewed an app in quite a while, so um hope you can still remember how to do it. But this is a review of the new Chris M. Lacey app Link Bubble. Chris M. Lacey is the guy who brought you guys uh, Action Launcher, which is a really great launcher. Um, I suggest you guys check that out as well, because it's really, really cool. This is an app that kind of aims to reinvent the way links work when you're using your phone. And this is one of those things that some people will find really, really useful, and some people just won't see use for at all. For me, there's a couple of use cases where I thought it was really, really good, so I have gone ahead and purchased the Pro version, which I think was around either £2 or $2.50, so it's not hugely expensive. Um, you can use the free version and it just limits the functionality ever so slightly. But what this does is opens up links in a bubble and it's very similar to sort of the chat head bubble or maybe the notification bubble you've seen with some custom ROMs and there's a couple of apps out there that will give you that notification pop-up in a bubble form. So for example, if I open up my Twitter and I hit this link, you can see there a small bubble opens and starts to spin and then that will load in the background allows me to carry on using my Twitter application and then when that's loaded you can see there and you tap it and it opens it up in a little browser now a lot of you will probably be thinking what's the point in this well if you're on a very slow internet connection it's actually kind of useful because you can scroll through open up two or three different links and instead of waiting that sort of seven or eight seconds to load the web page, the picture, whatever the link is to, this just opens it on the side and then as soon as it's ready it's there for you and it just means you don't have to interrupt that browsing experience. The other thing I found it really good for is say I wake up in the morning or I'm going to bed at night and I haven't looked at Twitter for a couple of hours, it means I can just scroll through my Twitter and I'm actually just going to go into my Twitter app and refresh it and you can scroll through your Twitter and things that I'm interested in, so for example that link, if I want to see that, I can hit that. Then if I want to see that one, I can hit that. Um, as you can see here, I haven't used an Instagram link before using the bubble, so I'm going to go ahead and hit link bubble always. And then it'll always open those Instagram links into the bubble as well. Uh, let's find some more links, this one as well. So you can see you can load up a bunch of them um, on this bubble. And then when they're all loaded, you can tap it and you can just scroll through them at your leisure. So it's a really nice way of sort of collating all those things together to read at your leisure, as I said. Also, the thing you can use it for is if you've got Wi-Fi at your house, but you've got very poor connection, say you're going on a train, you can preload a bunch of things um, in the bubbles and then read through them sort of as if it was sort of a, a sort of an augmented news app, I guess, in that way. Uh, I'm just gonna, you can also um, share, dragging the bubbles to here or here, Facebook or to... Um, that opens up the share menu where you can get rid of them. I was going to open the app just to show you all the different settings. So then it also tells you how much you've saved in your lifetime, which is kind of useful. Um, so you can hit auto expand, so then as soon as the thing's loaded, the bubble will open. I kind of think that defeats the point of using the bubble, because the idea is that it goes off to the side and doesn't interfere with everything else that you're doing whilst it loads. Um, you can then also customise what those left and right um, bubbles have in them. You can also change default apps. So for example, I've got it set to if I open a YouTube link, it will never go to the bubble, it'll go straight to YouTube. Um, also the same with the Play Store, same with Google Plus and Maps, which um, is a really nice feature because I think with some of those things it just wouldn't actually add any functionality, it would be taking something away. So it's nice that it's giving you the option to customise that. Um, you can also choose, to do, do, where is it? Oh no, on the free version you can choose one application in which the bubble will work. Um, in the paid application it works for every app. Um, so say when I was using the light version I had it set so if I was in Tweedle it would work, in any other application it wouldn't, um, and now it works across my entire phone. So yeah, that's Link Bubble, and it's one of those things again, if your use case, um, if you have sort of low signal or anything like that, I think it's a really useful application. Um, a lot of people don't like those bubble notifications, um, if you're already using a bubble notification ROM, or you're using the app that gives you the bubble notifications, it'll look quite nice, it'll sort of all fit seamlessly together. Um, but that's my take on the Link Bubble by Chris M. Lacey. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If there's any other applications you want to see reviewed, drop something in the comments and I will do my best to review it. This has been Andrew at Night. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. ta -ra.